So now take this solution of sine and apply double derivative on it and we will compare it with this equation. So I can write that psi is equal to h while h is a function of psi and e minus psi square over 2. Now what about its first derivative? So the first derivative of it will be d psi over d xi then is both are the functions of xi so we will write it like this differential of this xi and then the second function is it is minus xi square over 2 derivative of the first and the second is it is plus the First is it is which is h and derivative of this one and derivative of this one will be first minus 2 xi over 2 so it will be minus xi 2 2 will cancel e to the power minus xi square over 2 so I can write that so d psi over d xi is equal to Taking this one is common, so we are having dh over d xi minus h and xi into e minus xi square over 2. So taking the double derivative, d square psi over d xi square first we will take derivative of this and then we will take derivative of this so first we take the derivative of this and it is it will be double derivative of this d square h over d xi square minus then the derivative of this and it will be dh over d xi while xi will be with it plus derivative of this will be 1 so we will have h only plus h and this completes the derivative of all this and e power minus xi square over 2 will come as it is plus this whole function as it is which is dh over d xi minus h xi and the derivative of the second function which is minus xi because 2 xi by 2 and e to the power minus xi square by 2. So we can now simplify this one. This is equal to if I take e power minus xi square by 2 common then d square h over d xi square minus d h minus xi d h over d xi minus h plus now this will multiply so it will be again minus here and xi d h over d xi because it is minus so multiplied with minus and minus minus plus and h xi squared and this whole has a common e power minus xi square over 2 so we are having then this is equal minus xi and minus xi so it will just combine d square h 
over d xi square minus 2 xi dh over d xi and then if I take h common then plus xi square minus 1 and h and this whole has a common e to the power minus xi square over 2. So we have found the value of d square psi over d xi square and let's say this is our equation 2. Now comparing equation 1 and 2. So we are having d square psi over d xi square here and d square psi over d xi square here. So we can write that d square h over d xi square minus 2 xi d h over d xi plus xi square minus 1 h and this whole is with e e minus xi square over 2 is equal to xi square minus k xi square minus k and psi so for psi i can write h e to the power minus xi square over 2 so we are having the cancellation of e xi square over 2 here and here and this h it will come the other side so we have d square h over d xi square minus 2 xi d h over d xi and plus we are having xi square h on this side and we are having xi square h on the other side so these two will cancel and we are having k h here so this k h when will come here will become plus k h this is capital k h and then minus h n is equal to zero so our equation now is having the form d square h over d xi square minus 2 xi d h over d xi plus k minus 1 h is equal to 0 and this equation we call this is equation 3 and we call this equation is the Hermit equation and this is now a differential equation in H. So we will have to solve this equation now. So now we will have to solve the Hermit differential equation which is d square h over d xi square minus 2 xi d h over d xi plus k minus 1 and h equals 0. In order to solve this equation we will use the par series solution method. So in par series solution method we select our variable is like h is h is a polynomial a not constant a1 xi plus a2 xi square plus a3 xi cube 
and so on. The generalized form I can write j running from 0 to infinity a j xi to the power j. And this is true for any function f of x which can be written as a naught a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 and equal to summation on j running from 0 to infinity a j and x to the power j. So the power series method is a very familiar method. Now we will have to consider this equation and we will take its first derivative. So dh over d xi and this will be equal to if I take the very first one then it will be 0 while this will be a1 plus this will be 2a2 2 and xi. So 2 xi 1 plus 3 and then it will be a3 and will become xi square plus so on such that this we can write in the generalized form is summation on j running from 0 to infinity and it will be j a j into xi to the power j minus 1. Now we can retrieve our series back from here. For j equal to 0, we will have this thing equal to 0. When j is 1, this will be 1. This will be a1. And this will be xi to the power 0. So only a1 will remain. When j will be equal to 2, so we will have 2, a2 two and xi. When j will be 3, we will have 3, a3 three and xi. 3 minus 1 will be equal to we can take now the double derivative of this one and it will be d square over d xi square of h and this will become 0 and we will have 2a2 two two plus 2a2 two two plus 3 and this will be 2a3 and xi plus the other term and so on and the generalized form we can write for this is summation j running from 0 to infinity and the generalized form will be j plus 1 into j plus 2 and a the coefficient will be j plus 2 because when j will be 0, the very first term we will get a2 and xi to the power j. So we have found d square h by d xi square dh over d xi and we are having h as well. So putting all these into equation 3, so we will get summation on j the very first one it will be summation on j running from 0 to infinity and this will be j so taking this is common so j plus 1 into j plus 2 and then a j plus 2 now is xi j is here xi j minus 1 is here and xi j is here as well. So we will have to write this thing first as it is and then we will take xi j is common. So this is a plus 2 and xi to the power j plus the next term is 2 xi. So we are having minus here and 2 and for xi I can write 2 xi and then dh over d xi I can write this j aj xi 
जे माइनस वन 